We're starting right away with it. Puff Kazia getting the run back. We'll have to see if Desk can continue to be clean with those edge guards and tech chases, or we'll have to see if Hippo can make the adjustments with whatever power has been going off. Three, have a good night, Lacey. Go. Out of the small stage, just get right and click to the scrapper. Frame trap catching the landing with the forward throw. How forward goes super good just as a part of the character's kit. Sends him off and sets him up for his guards. Spikes at the wrong part, so of course he has the bounce instead of the landing. Esk is just suffocating Hippo here. Just can't really find a way to get anything started. A few times he backs up, but he's getting these electrics on him, but... Like, Esk has done a phenomenal job at, like, preventing anything from really getting happening. These electrics are worth it. We go for these ledge trunks to the back airs. Like these upward tilts kind of de-incentivize Puff from going anywhere, but that rollout will get punished real hard. Man, that rage art will absolutely kill Puff. That was kind of adjusting his general game plan. He's not just swatting electrics out. He's recognizing, okay, let me think and position myself for these anti -games. It's like right there with the run up into the dragon uppercut. And off a lot better if I play around the character in front of you instead of just trying to play the matchup and win. Ness can't get the stock soon. This can, this can be a lot scarier. That back here will do it though, so it's gonna be a little, a little more leeway. But Puff at 60 against a character like Kazuya still isn't like comforting. <laughs> it's entirely because of callouts like that. Electric. Another one push you off stage. Tries to go through, but pound beats it. That shield's looking a little low. You need to air dodge in. Don't want to take any risks with these edge traps. He's absolutely still in this. It's, all it takes is one good edge player, one less setup to get out the stock. Puff definitely has that X factor. But now you're sitting here against the Rage Art Kazuya with a stock lead, and you are Puff at absolutely at a kill percent to most of it. Like that, that Rage Art will absolutely do it. Game one is going to Hippa. Kazuya Mishima wins. Kazuya Mishima. We'll have to see if Desk can take advantage of the counter pick. See if there's a good stage or something else that might help the game plan a bit more. Maybe right now I'll try to go back to FD, but I don't Honestly, that stage didn't really hurt too bad. It was more a matter of like space. Kazuya was constantly able to re engage. You might want something with a little more ground. Yep, PS2. Perfectly fit. Let's find himself stuck in the corner. Desk is snuffing out a lot of options. The early air dodge not making the ledge. Reversal up there to kind of keep him off. He's able to get back. Hippo's doing really good adjustments to his recoveries. It went from 30 seconds of Desk keeping him off stage consistently to getting his way back. But that one play off stage in the ledge to take the first stock. He said, this is Puff at 80. Up the edge guard. The immediate rising up there kind of gives him backstage control. Big oh, punish on the sing. Go away. Real good punish on the sing. You try to go for the like the land on platform and get like the tech mm -hmm. punish with it, but nope, it goes ready for it. Good reaction to the DI on the electric too there. He saw where he was at. He's like, I can't get like my narrow my other follow-ups, get the back here. Let's go for it again, but barely misses it. I think he's trying to do like a lot more of these jump like side B's, but Desk is catching them pretty consistently. So like these jumps from ledge or these ledge options are not working as hot as I think Hippo would want. These are for stall, but that leaves you in just one space and Puff can absolutely go all the way out there and get you for it. 
But still, compared to the first stock where you lost when Puff was at 60, you lost your second and Puff is at 118. These straight tilts are getting real close to killing. Like I said, though, this is Puff. Last thing you want is a rest confirm. You gotta finish your food and finish it fast. That that call out with the double jump will do it. You hadn't really gone that high up after, kinda waited for landing. Air electric. Immediate up beats, next puff away, avoids the scary edge traps. The very light to see edge Tech roll in because he's heavy! Ooh. Okay. <laughs> but does he get a kill off this? Nah. Getting the stock yeah. off it. He's up there, gets clipped by the back air! Oh wow, that killed. That killed. <laughs> that was a real close game. That rest was a good decision because even though uh -huh. it didn't kill at that high a percent, he couldn't land in time to punish. So even if that wasn't what he wanted, he was still able to like get a ton of percent back for it, especially with the flower, and then just, oh, I'll, I'll win this exchange with back air and win. It wasn't what I wanted, but I still took the game, so that's what matters. We're going to go back to a smaller stage because it's Hippo's counter pick. Three, yes, we are. Small battlefield. One, go! Attack roll out, so I'm not going to get a follow up on that electric onto the plat. Nair into non electric into electric into back air. This man got this puff up to 100% in the blink of an eye. <laughs> the lasers. Times. Just hey, you want to keep drifting in? I'll just keep <laughs> shooting you. Yeah. Sure, I'll just do this. Use those jumps. You've got them. Electric and up. He should be the sound. Uh oh. Yeah. yeah. Then just tried to go crazy with that F smash. I think that might have been a misinput. Good punish on that tech chase there. Just wait under and wait for the roll in. You missed the rest, that's a stop. Oh. Hippo is running away with this game compared to the other ones. This is up as follow up because of the way the desk was facing, desk didn't get a punish. <laughs> First rage art of the, of the game. An electric up smash. Yeah, that's it. In a, less Damn. than a minute and a half. Wake ass game. Game two, just like that. Hippo is not playing around. Oh, Wanted that run back and is making it worth. I think like Hippo's really cleaned up like his play. He's not just like throwing out the electrics anymore, being like, look what I can do. Like, nope. Put a little mm -hmm. more thought into it, put a little more planning into it. Don't just be like, oh, I have good buttons, let's press them. Let's take the time to think about when I want to press them. Let's do these, like, anti-air tilts. Let's let's watch how I'm positioned. And let's also clean up my confirms. Like, compared to when we first saw uh, Hippo play, there was quite a couple times where he would get, like, electrics and get nothing. Here, he's pretty consistently getting, at least, even if it's not, like, a great follow-up, he's landing, like, the back airs, or he's landing, like, the, like, nares after at the minimum. Hey, is this commentary spot open? It sure is. Welcome, welcome. Actually, oh, but misses the rising crouch punch, so he's not getting the stun, but he needs to stop. Got the tech follow up you wanted? That should oh. be the rest. That's dead. That's dead. That's yeah. definitely. He's been trying to land that for like the whole time, I think. I'm I'm wondering if he's like he's doing these like he's doing the crouch dash into the um dragon uppercut, but I'm wondering if those are meant to be like if he's actually sub trying to do the um Oh he's dead. Holy yeah, because it's a similar it's a similar it's close input to like the dashes and like the electrics. But if you well, hold the, the same button or you in... do it weird and yeah, it's the same. it doesn't weird. Because you're still kind of aiming for that kind of sure you can input, but the button timing and like holding it matters, so it messes it up and you can do it with a dragon upper instead, which is, yeah. it'll still kill you dead and it works well as an anti-air, but you ain't getting combos. There's 
a little oh, further out, so that trash isn't gonna win. I wonder if he can still up smash the platform. Like, if Jigglypuff lands on the platform, he can still up smash it. He can. He landed, uh, in the last, uh, one of the earlier games. Dust tried to get a sing and missed, and he just was, went under and up smash. That's the oh. landing, forced out the air dodge. And that'll do with the, the strong nair. Finally getting a hit off the edge guard. He can burn a ton of his resources. And that up he will do it too, up mad light. I feel like that DI had to be sus because Jigglypuff's light, but I don't think she's supposed to be dying to that like a hundred without rage. It's probably there. I, I think that's definitely a possibility. You could probably have DI'd that bad. Yep, you're getting all these tech roll ins now. He's kind of like normally tech roll in puff is dangerous, but like he's working Oh, on the that, that was good. But then the second sing confirmed. <laughs> Desk is five. Sorry, Desk, Desk has cleaned up a ton of his play. Who are you? Who do you guys got? Who you betting on? Mm -hmm. well, I mean, I feel like Desk is probably the favorite to win just because he won the first set, but. Looks like they're switching up something, whether it's stage or character. That was the first time Desk was landing a lot of those confirms. And landed two of them in the same game at that, of landing the sings on the platforms. So, I have no doubt that when Desk gets the confirms, like, it all works out. But it's a oh. matter of Kazuya doesn't need to work as hard for these stocks. Whoa. So we're now on FD, where Kazuya can get his confirms, and Puff no longer has, like, the, um... More platforms, platforms for sings. You can't do like... the super spikes on Puff. <laughs> but you oh. can do that and kill it 56! <laughs> Alright, maybe those are intentional. <laughs> it's a heck of an anti air. Yeah. Especially since he gets like full body invincibility throughout the story. Right, right. Waited out the air dodge. Oh, that was a really good wait. Because he realized that he didn't get the confirm. He's going for the confirms he knows he's gonna get. Try to go for like a oh. crazier punish there. Is he dead here? I think Went for the Nair instead, because he was oh. waking up, he saw you, well, I well, now got the rest. Good awareness on desk to know what to go for. Well, he still could have got the rest, I just don't know if it would have killed. But now desk is at a 3-1 deficit. He's gonna have to start making those risky plays, he doesn't really have much of a choice. Good edge guard attempt, but he still got his extra resources. Oh, you, you didn't threaten, you let him get back to the ledge, because you hung out around the ledge, you didn't go out there after him. Like 10 more percent and Puff is at risk of dying to re- oh. Right there was what I was talking about, needed to threaten. If, because he was out stage, uh, off stage all the way down there, like made him have to go all the way down, make him burn his resources and really delay it. And just, hey, I now you just... can't recover. He committed too hard to that edge guard because he expected the low recovery and just went high. But he's dead. It's not a black and oh. white thing, cause like, he, cause you have those moments where he goes off and it works, but he also has those moments where he commits yeah. way too hard when he still has the tools, and it's like, well, now you just gave him stage back. Well, and we have a bracket reset. We got the reset. That was those are some severe positioning misplays compared to the last, like the last game. Mm-hmm. Hippo's coming into this with pretty strong momentum, I would say. I think he's playing really clean just with his confirms, but not even that, but his restraint. He knows exactly which confirms to go for, knowing what he's expecting or what he thinks will work, rather than always going for things that he might not have the execution down for. Like, he got the air dodge read, and he went for just the triple jab. And it's like, yeah, he, was, he had a hunch he would get it, but he didn't overly commit or try to set up something he wasn't fully believing in but he was still able to get a follow-up. And that kind of awareness of what you can do compared to what you should do and is really important because it's it's a determining factor in making you actually get the damage you're getting instead of going for things that may or may not work. Oh. 
I think we'll just see Puff versus Kazuya for the rest of the set. I don't think I. Or, well, I know. I don't think that's because any other character. Okay. He has other characters, but none that he plays at the level of Puff. And. And similarly, I Hippo's doubt we're seeing the Kazuya seat. has been doing way better than his Steve was. His Steve did really yeah, good work in Losers at the end there, but ultimately his Kazuya is just running hot, so... Oh, it's funny that both it. these players have pocket Steves. <laughs> Granted, everyone in this server does. Everyone likes Minecraft. Can you blame them? Alright, down. So this is does have platforms, but the platforms are in like a weird layout where it's gonna be, yeah, like, Kazi can get those combos. Puff, like, she can't do like the platform tech She can chases. still kind of get some stuff, but it's not the right height to where most of her moves will send you from grounded or like short hop things into platform techs. That's it, well, yeah. you know, let's just do stage techs. He's living though, town's got a big ceiling. And yep, just immediately take the stock back for it. Kazuya falls mad fast and can get at least some kind of punish. Ooh. Oh, that's an unfortunate Steve. Desk had barely missed the edge guard, but even like having missed it, like nope, side B and the air dodge were still just barely not enough. Oh, that's another stock though. We got the tech chase follow up there. Both oh, these players are literally just <laughs> killing each other off of like every Tiny opening they get. I love it. It's great. Which is just the nature of these two characters. Yeah, I got the opening I wanted. Sweet. That's the stop. Drill. This is scary. And that's death. Oh, he's dead. Yeah. That's Puff. Just go all the way out. Well, that means for this first game of the reset, we're giving it to Desk. That was two zero deaths in a row. <laughs> yep, yep. On the part of desk. Really, like, I think he kind of, like, slapped himself a bit. He was like, okay, let's be a little more careful and plan out my offstage a bit better. Go out when it's needed. Go out and do it, like, proper instead of just threatening. Let's threaten, like, a little clearer. Let's be in the right spot. And it paid off really well. Okay, we're going back to small battlefield from how we saw in the first set of players. Yeah, I think Dust is definitely banning FD this time around. Oh, absolutely. I mean, as Min Min, like, I love FD, but I will never take cost you to FD. You want some black holes. It has. Oh, he misses the jab lock. Yeah, he was too far. That, oof, that was rough. That kill? That kill. How was that 60? Like, Kazuya will kill you, I'm down with that, but I feel like you could have DI'd that better. I understand like, wanting to, like, DI up to avoid, like, dying to a follow-up from the electric, but it's like, No, like, he definitely DI'd it right, that's just straight up- oh. Okay. <laughs> Try to get, like, a re- like, a reset- um, Yeah, that there. only works on fastballers. Yep. Oh, it's both way too light and way too floaty. That is not going to work. Oop, that's- Oh, rough. no jump? He's got to use all his resources. Yeah, he's got no jump here. Yep, that's it. Clean positioning around S part, get the edge guard. Just help. Just burn all his stuff, stay in the right spot, and get it. Okay, that was really smart. He was in the right spot the right spot and facing the right way that had he tech rolled out, he would have still been able to up smash because of auto turn. Oh, that was a good trade. Yeah, he's like pulling these up these early because he has to like trade with puffs or else puff just constantly edge guards. Yep. That electric well, will it. definitely do it. Follow up and do right confirm. He has not missed a single one of these electrics confirms. But Add on the pot, we'll kill. Oh, Maybe but he does yeah. He can't get anything too crazy, especially because she landed the rest, but here loops. Drops. On oh. Oh, oh, no oh, that was good. He like mixed up the timing because he knew like he could. Oh, it's not like sixty. That that move exists. <laughs> that is a move that exists. That is a move that exists and says, "Hey, is that puff? Not anymore." You know the funny thing is that.
Electric to Dragon Uppercut is a true combo. Yep, they'll fall right into it. I think Desk is trying to DI up a lot of these electrics to avoid certain punishes. And I think either that or he's just holding a stick generally upwards just for part of his own movement. Well, DI up doesn't work against electric because, like, at the angle that uh, electric sends at, like, you, you know what LSI is, right? Yeah. But yeah, so, like, at the angle electric sends at, a, a DI up and down has, like, no effect. So you can only, like, DI left or right. Or, like, down in a way. The point is that he's not DIing a lot of the follow ups out of the electrics properly. Because even when he gets hit, he's dying way earlier than he should by just a handful of percent. And in a game like this, that matters. Always run around catching the roll behind. You gotta watch yourself. Now, I just realized. Oh. Alright, no one. He didn't feel confident in getting the rest there, so he just went for the back here. A little greedy with that dragon uppercut. Let's see the trump. Oh, this is a real high ceiling, making that live. It goes up to the entire tilt, and once you go in a little too aggressive with rising fair, I'll be out of shield, take the first stop. Oh, good dash. Immediate dash attack to punish the missed tech. You went with the laser to stall. Top oh, that's not gonna kill. Oh! How many jumps oh, does he have? He's living. He's living. He's not. He ran out of jumps. Because oh. Kalos is a higher bottom blast on the most stages, so yep. I assumed they both taunted it out. I thought he would have. I thought he was gonna make it back, but I thought about it, like, wait, he he got a couple jumps up there. He might not have enough jumps to get back. Yeah, that was an amazing play with the. Oh, he tried to tech in. He was oh, to get that's a stage. That air dodge will kill him. Oof! No more electric and up smash. Hippo's on tournament point. About to do it for Umi. <laughs> Didn't I just realize? Yeah. This is the love arrow shoot. Yeah. The only person in the entire bracket who could who could shoot arrows was one set where Lilaps went Byleth. I considered going Byleth. Wait, well, really made huh? a tournament Zelda, has... Zelda can, Zelda can. She don't have her bow with her. I mean, her final smash has an arrow. Well, not in this game. <laughs> uh, yes, in this game. Zelda, her final smash is the Triforce. Get the triangle. Oh wait, no. Oh wait, no. Right, right, right. They get changed that. The cheek. Oh, Zelda is Sheik. Sheik has that. So. In, in this one, Sheik doesn't have the arrow either. They give her a knife and a combo. Oh right. I Wait. forgot they Oh, he pineapple himself! Oh, that's. That is a rough start. I got this excuse. The hippo has that power up. He's got the Uli tag and everything. Oh, that's a big combo. Good follow up. Electric into the back here. Hippo's not gonna make this close. Like, even with that SD, it, these are characters of stocks. Like, it's like, oh yeah, you yeah, like stock? Yeah, like, neither players let either get a lead. It's like, even when it looks like someone's a big lead, then, like, they're 1-0 to death away from just dying. Exactly. Like, right here, he gets, like, one, like, confirm, or, like, one thing into the rage art, and that'll probably be the end of death's second stock. Rage if he gets his edge guard, then that's how the end of Hippo's second stock. I'm pretty sure Puff is dead here to Rage or at Ledge. Oh, she's definitely oh, she's dead, dead here dead anywhere on stage. Now. She's dead to Electric to Uppy, especially. So he's still holding on to his Rage Art. Which gives him either a free 40% or a little more damage on his combos. thing is, what people don't remember is that Rage Art not only gives him access to a Super Special, but it also buffs his stats to nope. make his moves deal more damage. 10% damage buff is helpful like you would not believe. 
I've seen a character like Puff where like getting to a kill percent is really important. It's, it's here, like if he gets one one good little combo starter, it can help. But Desk isn't even gonna let him. Oh, uh, I feel like he meant to be good there. tech though. But don't you tell oh. him that time he was ready for it. That no, wasn't even a tech roll in. He just regular rolled in. Like he had, he'd done a couple rolls in before, and Desk had been mostly going out for a lot of outer punishes at stuff at ledge and stuff. So that time, yeah. Desk finally like, okay, he's probably gonna come in again. Let's be prepared for it and let's get this punish. We're looking at a now game ten grand. We have a game ten grands, and the Umi fan winning the bracket has to happen. I mean, Hippo's gotta pull through. The Kotori fan versus the Umi fan. Who will the winner gets hunk. <laughs> the winner gets hunk. Ready? Right. All right. Last game of the tournament. For all the muffins. Three, two, to Smashville. One, Not a lot of space go. to run. Okay, got him at ledge. This is his grab. Oh, oh that's the dead. And that's going to do it. It won't kill just yet, Kazuya, a heavy oh. boy. But now this is Kazuya at 100 something percent. And he has rage drive. Yep. But he missed his follow up. He just kind of sat there on plat. It could have been a really good reset, turned into nothing. And he always is stock for it because he just kind of gave it up. Oh, he just didn't expect the no tech. F smash the oh. the bear. <laughs> Shield's looking mighty low. Don't tech roll in. Oh. oh. Or don't just roll in as you get up. It's not these rolls. Great oh. DI, he's living. I'm sure how electric that would be would have killed. There's a third hit if he does it with short oh. distances. You've got to be prepared for it. That's this good. is looking really rough for Hippo now. <laughs> right. He's got to pull out like the cleanest confirms he's done in this set if he wants to bring this back. He's got to just, like tighten up his play. Because if he keeps mm -hmm. missing these things or getting these wrong tech options, Desk will just kill him for it. Oh. Oh, that's uh, probably it. Oh, that. Yeah, that that's is it. That's it. Up yeah. the platform Desk there, too. Cleans. Desk is yep. taking it. Desk cleaned what? up super hard for that last game to take the bracket. I'm surprised you picked Smashville, because I'm not a big fan of Smashville myself when I- Well, I'm not a Kazuya player. But I feel like the big platform in the middle can mess up a lot of his combos. Fantastic stuff to desk. Well fought and well earned. Mm -hmm. Only dropping the first part of Grand Finals. Pretty good stuff, I'd say. Pretty good stuff. He did not drop any games until Winner's Finals. Yep. He's yeah, only dropped games to strong. one player. I mean, Dust is just a very good player himself. But yeah, that's the turn. That's the event. Congratulations. Well fought, Dust. You well cursed Hippo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright.